Praised be man, he is existing in milk and living in lilies, and his violin music takes place in milk and creamy emptiness. Praised be the unfolded inside petal flesh of tenderest thought. Petrels on the follying wave valleys idly sing themselves asleep. Praised be delusion, the ripple. Praised be the holy ocean of eternity. Praised be I, writing, dead already and dead again. Dipped in ancid inkle, the flammed of Tim, the Anglo-Oglo-Saxon maneuvers of old poetos. Praised be wood, it is milk. Praised be honey at the source. Praised be the embrace of soft sleep the valor of angels and valleys of hell on earth below. Praised be the non-ending. Praised be the lights of earth man. Praised be the watchers. Praised be my fellow man for dwelling in milk. And you know, in the ocean, there's a very sad turtle. Even though the SS mainline fishing ship is really in the merit like mad, swims long-mouthed and sad, looking for the impossible except once afternoon when the yoke, oh, the old booty yoke, set a-floatin', is in the water where the turtle raises his big watery snop to the sea and the yoke yokes the turtle of eternity.
Tell me, O bhikkhus, what are the chances of such a happening? For the turtle is old and the yoke free, and the seven oceans bigger than any we see in this tiny party. Chances are slender. In a million, million, billion coties of eons and incalculables, yes, the turtle will set that yoke free. But till then, harder yet are the chances for a man to be reborn a man in this karma earth. Silence, shh, she fallying in our endless ear. It's May and little Neil and old man go cutting together into the adventures of a hard one evening and one which of course like all life is doomed to tragic, unnameable, to make you speechless and sad faced forever death. Just as I used to hurry with my father in May dusks of Saturday towards unspeakable seashores with lights before them and swooping spaces fit for gulls and cloud scuds towards ramps of yellow sulfur lamplight. Useless, heavy rain driving into the sea.